Hey everyone, so I don't remember when it was, but quite some time ago someone asked to make a video tutorial on how I change my eye color with Photoshop, but I actually don't use Photoshop that often. <laughs> um, I usually use this website. I'll put the link in the description so you can just go there. Um, you don't have to download anything and you don't have to um, pay for it or anything like that. You just go to the website and open a picture and it's pretty simple once you get the hang of it. So once you're there, um, open a picture from your computer or wherever and then I'm using this one. So. Now you want to go over to this toolbox on the left side and click on the yellow sponge and you want to make sure that it's on desaturate. You don't want it to saturate, you want to desaturate the eye color. Make sure the strength is 100%, just move this little thing over or just type the number in like that. And the brush size should fit whatever. So then you put this circle over your eye and it desaturates it. So now you have a gray eye and if you have really really dark eyes like I do then you want to go over to the dodge tool right here and click on that. Make sure this little box right here is white and the exposure should be anywhere between 50 and 100. I usually use 50. And now you go over the eye until you're happy with it. Um, until it's as light as you want it to be. And I'm just going to go over it a few times. About like that. Okay. Now, this is a little bit tricky. Go back up to the toolbox on the left side, and on the right side of the toolbox, on the top, the second one down is a little rope lasso thing, and you click on that, <coughs> and make sure you click the mouse down and hold on to it and go around the eye and you have to do this very very slowly and very very carefully because if you don't you'll probably mess up and it's very frustrating trust me I already know <laughs> so you go all the way out on the edge of your eye and go around Again, very, very, very slowly. Don't rush. You will mess up if you rush. You might even mess up if you don't rush. So this might take a few seconds. And it won't be perfect, but that's okay because we're going to fix that later. Okay, once you have done that, it, there should be a little line around the eye just like this. It should look exactly like that. So now, you want to go back over to the toolbox. And there's a little blue box right there. The gradient tool, I think that's how you say it, I'm not sure. So you click on that. And click on this right here where it fades out from white to black. Click on that and move this over one of the sides all the way over and then click on this little black box right here with the word color beside it on the left side and choose whatever color you want your eye to be. So I'm going to go with a bluish like a turquoise color because that's my favorite color. 
I don't think I even knew that. <laughs> so I want my eye to be this color. Now, this is very, very, very important. If you don't do this the right way, it's going to look extremely fake and everyone will know that it was photoshopped. Okay, go back up to the top and the op opacity or however you say that. Make sure that is between 20 and 30. If it's any more than that, it's not going to come out right. And then go all the way over to the end right here, where it says Mode. And click, or scroll down, and click on Overlay, right there. And then what you want to do is click and hold down above the line that's circling your eye above it, not in it, above it okay? make sure it's above the line and then just go down below the line above and below and then let go and there you go my eye is now blue turquoise and now you go back up to the lasso rope tool tool, sorry I can't talk. <laughs> and you right click and deselect it. Deselect all. And now we're going to fix it a little bit. Go back to the yellow sponge and change the strength from 100 to about 32, between 25 and 30 or something. And make the brush size a little bit smaller, like, um, I don't know, a little bit smaller. But whatever circle fits on this part on the outside is your best choice. So then you circle that all the way around on the edge because we don't want to desaturate the color that we just put in there. That would be pointless. So you go around this a few times. Uh, you don't have to do this. This isn't mandatory, but I think it looks better, so I do it. And then, if you are doing this, go to the burn tool, which is below the yellow sponge, and it's a hand that looks like it's pinching something, I guess. Uh, make sure the exposure is between 20 and 30 or so and then go around the edge of the eye ooh, might want to go up to 50 my bad the exposure might need to be 50 <sighs> made a mistake, I'm sorry so anyways, you go around the eye like this. And you might want to go in the pupil too. Okay, so now you zoom out. And go to the top of the screen again. And there's a little list of things to do. And you can go to adjustment and mess with anything in here. And filter, I really love this. If you go up to the top and click on filter, and then scroll down to, ooh, where is it? Oh my bad, I made another mistake, I'm sorry. Adjustment, adjustment, go to adjustment and click on curves. And then presets, you can scroll down and there's a bunch of cool effects in here that you can use. I usually use the Polaroid, but I'm not sure if this will come out very well with this picture. But we're going to test that. Uh, I don't really like that that much. Uh, not that one either. So there's a bunch of things you can mess with in here until you find something that you're happy with. That looks okay. Okay, and then there you go. Your eye color is now a different color. <laughs> so I hope this helped and I'm sorry for making a few minor mistakes but 
I hope you um, have a different eye color now. <laughs> so yeah, thanks for watching everyone.